My name is Deanna Rive and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Well, welcome back everybody. It's been like five or six months since my last video and it's because I did a big move. I moved from one part of New York to another part of New York during COVID, which was very hard, very stressful. Um, we weren't in our home right away. So now that we're in our home, I'm trying to like acclimate, find a new place to film, but I am here. This video, you're gonna see me in three different rooms of my house. You're gonna see me in one bathroom, then in the bedroom, and then in this bathroom. But I really wanted to just film. I wanna just jump back in and start filming again and show you guys how I got these flexi rod curls. This is like the first time that it's actually happened with a flexi rod set, and I freaking love how my hair looks right now. This is my favorite flexi rod set to date. My hair is so light. It's like so silky. The curls are loose. I wanted my curls to be a little bit more loose. I just took the flexi rods out, so the curls are still probably going to fall more. But you guys, I love how this looks. It's actually January 30th. I did this style for New Year's Eve. So I'm going to show you guys, obviously after the New Year's, I'm really trying not to ramble, but I am excited to be filming again. So let's jump into this video so you guys can see how I got this flexi rod set. After I wash and deep condition my hair to make sure that my hair stays moisturized, soft, and shiny, I am going in with this light leave-in conditioner from Melanin Hair Care. It's perfect for a blowout or when you're straightening your hair because it's not too heavy and I just need a little bit over these big sections that I'm working with. So I'm just adding that in mainly from the shaft of my hair to my ends and it doesn't weigh my hair down. It doesn't leave any type of residue or anything or it doesn't make my hair look oily. This is the perfect leave-in for if you're straightening your hair and you want to add a little bit of moisture. Whenever I'm going in with any heat, I always use a heat protectant. This Tresemme one has been a longtime favorite of mine just because it's super light, doesn't make my hair feel sticky or anything, but my hair is protected with it. After I spritz that over the section, I just go in a little bit of a smaller section to blow dry just so I can make sure that all the frizz is gone before I add in the flexi rods. As always, my hair was split into four sections. After I was done blow drying the section, I would just tie it up into a bun just so that the hair does not frizz up anymore. It got a little wave, but that's okay because we're adding the flexi rods anyway. And as you can see, my hair looks light and shiny. My hair does look a little bit shorter because I did recently cut it, but we'll talk about that later. So after I blow dry, I always like to add in a serum for some extra shine and it always gives my hair like a nice silky feeling as well. So I just add that from the shaft of my hair to the ends. I don't want the curl to be too tight so I am working in larger sections and I am working with the bigger flexi rod. Not the big one that I actually wanted to work with but this size the results did come out good with this size as well. So as you can see this section is pretty big. I'm just making sure that it's completely detangled and I am using the texture ID mousse. At first I didn't know how I was going to go in with the mousse so you see me kind of testing it out but I realized that I just wanted the mousse on the end of my hair just so I can make sure that those ends are sleek and straight and flat on the flexi rods. That is the most important part of a flexi rod set I feel like because if your ends look trash then the whole flexi rod is not going to look good. If your ends are frizzy then you just defeated the purpose of the flexi rod set. So I just make sure that my ends are nice and smooth on the flexi rod. Then I kind of wrap the flexi rod around my hair. I didn't curl it all the way up. It's more wrapped around the flexi rod so that I can get that nice wave and then the ends have a nice curl on it. I'm not using 
using too much mousse, just enough to kind of saturate the ends of my hair and to make sure that they are laying flat. As you can see, I went in with another big section. I think I did three in this back section, then three in the other quadrant, and I'm doing the same in the front. So they are pretty big curls, but they don't have to be tight. They're gonna be big and loose. So working with bigger sections is great and you can still get your ends laid flat if you're using a good mousse. I really did like the Texture ID one because it didn't leave any residue on my hair and it didn't make my hair feel crunchy and it left a nice shine in my hair too. If you have a hooded dryer, you could absolutely set your hair under the hooded dryer and be done in an hour. But I like to limit the amount of heat that I expose my hair to, so I am going to leave these in overnight. I used my bonnet just to keep everything in place. And it was a little difficult to sleep with them, but it wasn't too bad. And I like my hair to stay in a protective style overnight just so that I can make sure that it's set in place. And the next morning, I am just going to take them down.
when I take down my flexi rods, I always make sure that I'm taking them down in the direction that the curl is to make sure that I avoid messing up the curl and I avoid any frizz. And then once all the flexi rods are taken out, I'm just gonna go in and separate the curls. Again, when I'm separating the curls, I'm pulling the curls apart, then recurling that curl in the direction that it's already curled in. When you're separating your curls, you can put a serum or a light oil on your hands to separate. I didn't do that just because I want to make sure that my hair is still light and fluffy. Um, when I'm taking them out, I'm just, I'm taking my time. It looks like I'm a little more rough and I'm going a little fast. But that's because I have the video sped up. But I'm extra careful when I'm taking them out, making sure that I'm not breaking my hair and I'm making sure that I don't disturb the curl too much. When I'm done separating the curls, I like to shake out the roots of my hair just to make sure that none of the parts or there's no spaces in my hair. And I wish I would have ran the flat iron through my hair after I blow dried my hair. Not even through my whole hair, just on the roots in the front because they're a little frizzy right now. So I did have to go in just to fix that. I just did it on my roots and I just did it in the front of my hair and it made so much of a difference. temperature of the flat iron is at 375. I didn't want it to be too high because last year when I straightened my hair during the time when I was getting married, I definitely used way too much heat. The day of my wedding, I straightened my hair maybe like three or four different times. And then after that, I was keeping up with my straight hair and straightening it like every single day or touching it up. And it did cause a little damage. So now this is my first time using heat since the wedding, which was last February. So I wanted to make sure that it was super low. I did have to cut my hair in the front a lot because there was damage from me over straightening my hair in the front. I knew better, but whatever, we're not gonna talk about it now. We have moved on and our hair is growing back. So yeah, I'm just really doing the uh, roots in the front of my hair. I'm not going all the way down my hair. I don't wanna mess up the curl. I'm just making sure that the roots are nice and straight. forget to like comment and definitely subscribe i will see you guys in my next video see you later Thank mm -hmm. you.